Hello everybody, welcome back to Lawrence Place Factorio Angel Bobs. Um, so as I was saying in the last episode, I've done a little bit of um, tidying up. So I've gone in, I've removed all the spare turrets that were up here and across here and all the, all these sorts of things that were waste, just basically a waste of resources. Um, I've kept all, and I kept all the ammunition from them and dumped it back in the, in the, um, in the construction machines up here. So in theory, this part of the factory won't require any resources for quite a while now because there's a lot of ammunition built up in these factories. They can all just unload as, as, as needed. Probably about 2,000 magazines worth, I think. What else do I do? I also picked up a lot of the alien artifacts that were lying around on the floor from the various um, battles I've been winning. Um, I haven't actually ventured outside the walls to pick these up, but um, but a lot of the ones that were inside inside here, oh, and I've missed those as well. I've done a, a half-assed job of picking up all of the <laughs> all of the alien artifacts that were littered around after the after the uh, recent battles, and I've had a bit of a think about what I want to do next. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is build a train unloading area in this basically in this in this lake. So I'm going to landfill up. A big chunk of this lake and I'll probably landfill it as I need it rather than doing the whole lot in advance because I never seem to be able to ha carry enough landfill around with me for whatever I want to do. The idea of that is then the tr is that trains that have produced something somewhere else like this plastic train or this sulfur train can just come in onto the up to a station here dump all the stuff out and have it go over onto the bus and I don't want them to take up too much space with the station so I'm going to run the trains horizontally and then have the belts basically come straight off the end of the um End of, the, end of the station and then join onto the bus over here. And the idea of this is that I want to keep the main production areas of interesting things at least on the bus as much as I can because I think it's quite a useful way of having all of the resources together and I'm, I'm getting quite a good selection of them. I don't want to have to start belting things from plastic plastic factory over here and so on and I suspect as I get further into the game I'm going to end up with more of these things dotted around a bit further away and I'll probably end up maybe at some point I'll end up moving some of these refining facilities further away and that sort of thing so so the bus is going to get perhaps not necessarily bigger and bigger but I'm going to move some of the things away from it a little bit further especially the things that involve petrochem and enormous quantities of gases the next thing after that once that's all up and running um, and, that, and that might be a good opportunity to introduce LTN because it's, I've been meaning to start playing with that but the next thing I'm going to do is start thinking about red circuits and I've drawn up a, um, a bit of an idea of what I need to do here it's quite complicated. There's, I'm not even going to count how many different products go into this, but there's there's a lot of different steps to the to the process. Although a few of them are overlap, and a few of them overlap with the uh, yellow circuits as well. So I might set up so I can build more of those as as well, because I suspect I might not be producing them quickly enough. But they are. I think I'll probably do that down here somewhere. Maybe I'll put another kink in the bus, bring it back over the, over to the left a little bit, so it goes around the edge of this mine, and then I can build the the red circuit facility down here in this area. Yeah. So I think that will um, that will give me a, a a good starting point, some things to do to get to get going. I'll also want at some point build up some um, mines for these two natural gas um, areas, for want of a better word. But that I think I'll, I probably won't do that just yet because I've got quite a lot of plastic um, sitting here waiting to be dealt with. So I might as well I might as well use that up first because I want I want to start playing with red circuits because it's something that everything I want to do seems to require. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So step one, head down to the area where I'm going to be putting in this landfill and unloading area. And if I plan this properly, then I'll be able to unload. I'll be able to stick stick a train in that'll do. Oh dear, <laughs> it's like driving on ice. I'll be able to stick in the first station for the first train, and then just build up from there as I need more, without needing to um, change the basic design at all. And I'll just be able to put things in higher and higher up for what's going to be the continuation of the bus. This will put me in good standing for the future as well. So at some point in the future, I may decide I want to include add things like having the iron produced somewhere else, and then bring that in by uh, by train. So having a, a basic bus, having some sort of unloading system for the bus here will make that sort of thing easier as well. Okay, so this is the sort of area I'm thinking of. Let's grab some landfill. As I say, I know I get through landfill. Well, as soon as you start actually filling in areas, land you get through landfill incredibly quickly. Let's get rid of all these trees as well. So they're just going to get in the way. I said, let's get rid of these trees. Do I have... Oh, there we go. I don't know why they were slow to start. How much area is there? And that's a, a fair start. It might actually be enough for a couple of trains. Let's. I've used. I've used half my landfill already. That's impressive. Well, almost half. 
Now I've used a lot more than half of it. There we go. It's all gone. <laughs> so that, yeah, that's what I meant about getting through landfill incredibly quickly as soon as you start actually trying to build anything with it. The other thing I need to do is get rid of all these cliffs along here. I think I'm going to need to go back and get some more of these cliff explosives. <laughs> Those have gone down quite quickly as well. 60. Yeah, that'll keep me going for a while. So there's still only one plasma turret in there. Every time I look, it's short of something to build more. What are you short? Oh, you've run out of plastic. Interesting. You'd think with plastic being built, you know, just over here, I'd have built a thing to bring it over. Let's, let's not do that. I've only got 28 belts. Let's just take a couple of sticks of plastic and make some more batteries with them. And you can have those. There we go. I knew I had these roads for a reason. How's that getting on? Okay, it's cleared out the um, a perfect square of trees. Okay, good. Let's get some more. Okay, so the idea is the trains will come off the lines here, come up, or maybe from this direction, come up an appropriate distance, which is probably going to be very, very a very short distance to start with, head across, they'll unload in this area, and then they can drop back down onto the lines here. So, I'm going to need a gap in this belt, and let's see, let's get this right, let's get some rail. I wonder, actually, I could build, no, I'm not, I was going to say I could build a stacker, but I don't think I want to. I think I want this, any trains that are coming in on this line, to be ones that are going to be doing whatever it is they do basically immediately and then leaving. I don't want to be faffing around with multiple trains queuing up. So I've, this is where I'm going to start using LTN. Coming out, so that wants to go that way. I think that's trying to tell me I can't get past those. <laughs> there we go. Like that, and like that. Easy. Do I have any signals with me? Yes, I do. And I probably don't have a train stop because I've been building those on demand every time. I have my sense of scale. I'll do that in a minute. Let's do the signals first. Of course, I can't really do the signals because um, <clears throat> because I haven't got enough rail to put them on yet. Let's park, park here. I mean, this getting the bots to do the building is a lovely idea, but it never seems to go quite as smoothly as I want it to. I guess that's just an encouragement to get better bots, really. Do I have any more? Oh, says so and yeah. I was sure I had some underground belts somewhere. There we go. What? Oh, there. I suppose the magic of these bots is to have something like this. I'll leave them to get on with that while I go over and do something else like this. Not so much that I sit, sit there watching them and expect them to do it faster than I can. There we go. Signals. Or right, I'll finish that bit off by hand. <laughs> this is just a scatter signals pretty much everywhere. Oh no, actually, on the way out, I don't want the trains to go anywhere unless they can actually get through. That looks right to me, I think. Oh, and I need another one on the way out, like that. Okay, I've left a bit more room for expansion than I was intending to here. There's room for at least doubling the number of uh, wagons on these trains, but that's okay. Um, a bit of room for expansion probably isn't entirely a bad thing. So next we have stack inserters for unloading, like that, boxes. Um, yes, those. Now, which way round do these unloaders go? Okay, so the rightmost one will feed onto the next one. Like that. No. Like that. Splitters. Splitters, 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 splitters. Right, I think that's about as small as I can make the station. I now need a three to less. Three to fewer can... Um, three to two will do. Run that off there. And that should evenly unload all of the tra all of the um, wagons. Okay, so that's an unloading system for one component. So I now can repeat this several times over that. And the idea is these are things that don't get used in enormous quantities, so I don't need to have massive amounts of throughput on them, but there are going to be a lot of different things being brought into this this area. So I'm going to need to have a lot of a lot of stations, a lot of a lot of a lot of potential throughput for, for things that are being brought in. Oops. <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's bring this up out here. Um or right here. There we go. That covers most of it. So this one, for example, would be a plat. Say this one could be plastic drop, and then the um, the plastic train would fly around here and drop the um, and drop off a load of plastic to be used to go to then be dumped in the factory. <clears throat> and then maybe this one will be for sulphur. This one will be for unobtainium. This one will be for goodness knows what. So the idea, yeah. So each one will bring in a different different product, and then it'll all be belted over and put onto the bus. To be honest, I might be a little bit too far over to the right here, but eh, who's counting? <clears throat> so what I care about at the moment is going to be the, um, the plastic. So let's call, let's do let's set this one up as plastic now, just to give an idea. Like so then we can say this train over here 
plastic pickup, full, and then plastic prop to empty. There we go, belt full of plastic. Simple. I'll leave the um, bots carrying on building those stations while I head over this way and... I don't have any grenades. While I head over this way and... Ow! Blow myself up a bit. So the next part of the bus should be here. Yes, I'm now building on the bus on the opposite side. Yeah, why not? Not there. That should really be there. Conveniently, there's some more belts there. Right, this bus is now turning into a mix of <laughs> yellow and grey belts as I... Um, based on whatever I've got at the time, which is a bit gross, but eh, never mind. <laughs> right, so where were those lead ingots that I had coming out as an overspill from something? Here we go. I think what I'll do with those is bring them over to the other side, like that, and they can be the next thing on this part of the bus. So plastic would be there, here. And now the astute among you will have noticed that I've got these belts the wrong way round. Having faster ones after the slower ones is completely pointless because all it means is that you get the um, you can't get the higher throughput of the fast belts because there isn't enough stuff being fed onto them. Uh, however, it's just what I've got at the moment. And at some point, probably once I've got actual robo ports and proper bots as opposed to the, just the little ones coming out of my um, construction vehicle, then I'll have then I'll just run over and upgrade the whole lot and it'll all be fine and hunky-dory. So, yep, here comes the lead, the lead ingots through. It's just disappearing completely. What was the side... What was it? The lead ingots were... The side... Pro no. Oh, no, I remember. I was, yeah, producing the sulphur dioxide that I was going to use to make sulfuric acid, or sulphur, I think, and then I ended up not because I realised I could just do it over here from sulfur dioxide and purified water. Okay, so sulfur over here seems like a good idea anyway. Let's have a quick look at that. I know I'm moving way miles away from what I was talking about before. Sulfuric acid, that might be even better. Sulfur dioxide gas comes from sulfur, not the other way around, but turned, mixed with purified water turns to sulfuric acid. Okay, that's just water. There's no, there, there aren't really, there isn't really much in the way of liquids around here, is there? What have we got here? Mineralized saline. Bleh. Oh, oh no, we do have purified down here. I could pull off from that. Uh, how far apart are these? About a million miles. Mm. I mean, I could. There doesn't seem to be a huge amount of this. Is that a side? Is that a waste? Is it purified? No, the purified water goes in there. So it's made by this. It's also producing the mineral. Why is that stopped? It doesn't have enough fluoric wastewater. Okay, but this one is making. Is that a valve? Yeah, that's a. No, it's a tank. Oh, top up valve. There we go. Right. Okay. Okay. So this this makes the purified this makes some purified water as a side byproduct of the other stuff. This one makes enough to keep it topped up, no matter what happens. Right. Okay. I understand. So I can pull off from here if I want to, and run it up here all the way through the iron, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and do something with it up there, maybe, and make sulfuric acid. But at the moment, I'm not sure I can be bothered. Why was I talking about that? Why was I going to... Oh, yes, because of the lead ingots that were coming through. I'll worry about that in a bit, I think, if necessary. Okay, so the next thing is to cross the railway line with all of these um, things I'm putting on the bus. I'm not doing this by hand. What's happened there? Oh, I'll put those too far apart. That's what. <laughs> yep, that's working. Okay, now I think the first thing I'm going to do here is, is put a big kink in this in order to go past this mine because it's, it's in the way. So I'm going to want this to come over to about here, which means I need to make some sort of corner. Uh, let's see, that, there we go. Blimey, that's a lot of bells. <laughs> okay, let's go and see how the, wait, oh, let's go and see how the construction bots are getting on. I've not got any um, signals, that's fair enough. Oh, nor have I, it's not enough. Um, oh, maybe I have got enough, just not got enough for the other side. Can I make some more? Yes, can't make enough stations now. Out of iron. Iron. Have some stations and some signals. Okay, let's get this side finished off. And then we can go over and do all of those belts I've just laid. It's crazy. This, I think there's a point in Factorio where you suddenly gain the ability to do stuff on a much bigger scale. And a large part of that is having bots because doing this all by hand would be a pain. Although some of the stuff I've done, it's not maybe not that much worse than. Um, and then you just start to build on a much, much bigger scale, and it's really satisfying. You didn't see me do that. Whoop. No, let's not just drive through random things. Let's tram park. There we go. That'll let us get a, a nice big area of the belts. I'm not convinced I'm going to have enough, so I'm going to grab some more. And they're 
working hard away at making these. And we've got eight, another 800. Right, that's going to take some time. <laughs> I wonder, let's see, if I build another couple of robo ports. Okay, another one robo port. I'm out of iron again. If only there was a supply of it somewhere nearby. Build another couple of these, because there's loads of space in this vehicle's inventory. In its grid, sorry. I put that there, and suddenly it can use another 50 bots at a time. Oh, uh, where was I making bots? It wasn't that far away, was it? That's them, isn't it? Yes. There we go, it's another 50 in there. I built another one, two of these, which won't... And they would if I took out such important things like the um, burner generator, but I think I need that. In fact, I wouldn't, be oh, I wouldn't be surprised if I need two of them now. Oh no, that seems that's okay now. It's, uh, it's caught up. Let's load the other one in here. Just in case. Isn't that a wonderful sight? Right, I've been not putting it off as such, but I've not been getting down and getting on with the... Um, the next step, so the actual construction of the of the red circuits. That's going to be a, a big job. So, as we can see on the plan, well, <laughs> we, can see almost, we can see a lot on the plan. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure how to translate this into. Well, I'm not. I, I'm not sure where to start. Put it that way. I could start with the. I don't know. Start at the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. Um, now, do I try and start where? With, with all of the source materials and start building things up and one at a time and running through. I think that's probably the sensible thing to do because then I can have the silicon being made off to one side um, which comes from silicon ore, ingots. Carb actually, carbon's, carbon's needed in a couple of places so I'll make that and then put it on an internal bus or something. And Right, okay. One of the first things I'm going to need actually is to get silicon onto the bus because I don't have that at the moment. And this requires silicon ore. So I can leave the um, the bots playing around down here and having fun. I'll get some more belts. 275, that might be enough. Then we're going to have to go up north and start unloading silicon. Now, at the moment, silicon is just being dumped in a, in a warehouse because I didn't have any need for it. I think I might have made a little bit of glass out of it for the greenhouses right at the beginning. And that has been quite literally it. It comes out of crushed bobmonium though. And I've, here we go. Okay, so I've got silicon down here. In fact, in this warehouse. That's nearer than I was expecting. Let's grab some of that. So we get two on one side of the belt, two on the other, and yeah, I'll just push straight through the middle of this bronze factory. I think that's fair. Now I notice this has stopped, and that's because I'm not using any, I'm not making any tin, tin ingots from this tin ore. Um, maybe that won't be a problem. He says optimistically. I guess we'll find out. Because I am going to start using tin quite heavily for the um, for the circuits, because I need to make solder. The big question, I guess, is will I be making enough solder to use up the tin fast enough that I'll have enough silicon coming through? And I guess we'll find out. Right, let's get this started. Sort of right up, right up here. Is this too? Oh, I don't know. Let's just let's do it here anyway. Else. Why not? Um, so we have silicon coming out here, going across there, and I've run out of underground. Give me those. And those. Third time lucky. Right, so that's my silicon ore, which needs to be mixed with carbon, which comes from coal and water. Coal is the second thing on the second bus. Second from the right on the second bus from the left. Good logic there. Um, <clears throat> so it's this one. I'm going to feel very silly if I'm wrong about that. And suddenly I fill up my whatever system it is that deals with the coal with iron or bananas or something. Right, water, okay, water comes from over here or up here. Let's get it from over there. Do I have lots of underground pipes? I have no underground pipes. Of course they're in here. Pipes and it's not very many underground pipes. It's not going to be enough. Fortunately, I'm building them here. Okay, this is quite a long way. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting it to be quite this far. And I will need an offshore pump. That will put in there. Water. Now, this water is only needed for steam, so I don't expect to need enormous amounts of it. Stone. Stone is one of those things I normally have more than I know what to do with, because I keep... But now that I've got the bots doing the hard work... Uh, sure, let's use a boiler too. I don't, don't have a strong opinion about that. Right, um, because now I have the bots doing the hard work on that, it's not quite so... Um, it doesn't all end up in my inventory, basically. Okay, so this is the coal. We also need to crush the coal. I'm going to need one of these crushed coal, and then crushed coal is made into coke, 
in a, in a furnace. Okay, put that there. Like that is power. So that's going to make me coke, which when combined with steam in a chemical plant makes carbon. So advanced chemical plant, which we'll probably do, but they're expensive and probably not. It's probably not worth using it for this. I think I might just have to build one. This is probably something I should have being built off the bus. Actually, a lot of these construction. I'm not going to call them assembly machines because they're not really, but yeah, sort of things that are building stuff probably should be carbon. That was the one. There, turn again there, and there. Right, that's making my carbon. Silicon ore plus silicon ingots. No, silicon ore plus carbon makes silicon ingots somehow in a blast furnace. Okay, right, so what I'll. I'm going to need this for another process as well, so I'll pull this out like that. I could do that, I suppose. Stone bricks. Yeah. I've definitely got lots of those. Nice. How's this going on? Stopped. Bet it's run out of belts. <laughs> yes, I think it had run out of belts. Crikey. It's like a firework. Do I want to keep this compact, or do I want to just spread out? I think I want to spread out. So, carbon from there, and the silicon ore from there. You're making silicon? Silicon ingots, there we go. Which I'm probably just going to straight feed those into something else, aren't I? Yes, yeah, so that thing goes, needs to be made into molten silicon in an induction furnace. Having this all drawn out on paper actually makes an enormous difference. It makes it much easier to work out what I'm trying to do at every step. Steel, silicon. And then for the molten silicon... Okay, this goes two ways. I need to... Oh, right. Okay, so some of this molten silicon... Some of it gets combined with nitrogen gas to make these seeds. Some of it gets combined with the seeds to make monosilicon. Okay, so we want this with nitrogen in a casting machine. Do it that way around. So we now nitrogen coming in from here. Now nitrogen is a solved problem. We've done that before. Uh, we, no, a pure. I forgot what the machine's called. That one. Filter. All right. And then we need a chemical plant. What's the ratio of these. Say three to two. Crap. I've run out of pipes already. Have I done that? Okay, so we have two chemical plants like that. Might be overkill, but never mind. Air filters. Right, this time I don't need any of the oxygen. So that feels like a waste, given every other time I put one of these systems together, it's because I've needed lots of oxygen and been throwing away the nitrogen. This time it's the other way around. Oh well. Have I actually run out of. Will it run out of belts again? Yes. A couple of hundred, there you go. Oh. <laughs> it's getting there. I mean, nothing's got through yet. That's more than six. Oh, oh. bloody hell. Actually, that probably don't need to get them from there. Yeah, use these. In fact, better idea. Put them back. Upgrade planner. Where is it? That one. Bring those up a notch. Hopefully they'll now reach. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Um, is that properly? There we go. I'm glad that didn't go horribly wrong. No. What? <clears> How <throat> did I manage to get all those the wrong way around? Well, I suppose they're all copied and pasted, so if I got one the wrong way around, they'd all be, but... Yeah. Coal, yes. And silicon, yes. Looks like I've got that right. Excellent. Ah, are there any more... Yes, there are. No, I won't put that there, since I've started driving along the middle of these power lines. Oh, yeah. And way of unloading that would be good. Okay, so far so good. This seems to be working. So I've got my seeds being made here. <laughs> um... And I need to make these monosilicons now, so that's the seed and the molten in a casting machine. One of them. Why am I carrying a load of zinc? I must have picked something up that I didn't want. Uh, it's a funny shape. Why is it why is it got what just just why? Um Oh I can do it from the, off the side, that's fine. Like that. And then an inserter, why did I go in that way? That. There! That's my um mono uh, that's my monosilicon. I then need to find a way of turning that into silicon wafers. That's done in an assembly machine. Okay. Mm, do I still have those? No, I've left them in there. Bam, presumably. What's that? Desert garden. Let's take all of those since I'm going to be starting to build some circuity soon, things soon. So that goes into there. And you're making silicon wafers. Right. That's one of the, um, the, th the three ingredients for a transistor. After all of that. Good. Um, that was... Probably, it's probably most of the most of the necessary effort for a transistor. Because beyond that, all that's required is tinned wire and plastic. 
but if I don't split the video now then it's going to run on forever so I think we're going to call this one an episode here I've created as you can see the, um, the silicon wafers for the first part and now it's just a case of putting together the the circuit boards and then combining everything together to make the red circuits and I think that'll be something for the next episode. Thank you for watching, I hope you'll join me for that one.